Hey everyone, it's been a little while since we've done these, so I'm gonna take you through how to do them just for the sake of time. So the first one is a sorting pictures where you're gonna sort your butterflies from your flowers. So we're gonna make a copy of our document and then you should see this. And of course they're gonna say, put your name on it, put your name on it. So of course you'll go in and you'll put your name up here. Now for the sorting. If you see a butterfly, you put it with the butterflies. If you see a flower, you put it with the flowers. So I see a flower, I see a butterfly. I see a flower, I see a flower. You guys are gonna sort all these. Ah, oh, that's a butterfly attached to a flower. We're gonna put it with the butterflies. You guys are gonna sort all these out until you don't have anything left to sort. Make sure you do a little bit better job than I'm doing. All right, and get all of your butterflies sorted from your flowers. And then you're gonna share that document with me, Ashley Middleton. Next up, we're gonna go back to our slides and we're gonna do the count the beads one. So again, you're gonna click on it. You're gonna make a copy of it. And this time you are going to be counting how many bees go on each of the items. I'm moving a little fast. Feel free to pause this video and wait until you get to your next set before you continue. So for this one, I've got to drag and drop one bee on the flower. So I'm gonna count one and put one bee there. The next slide, I've got to do three Bs. So count with me. One, two, three. On my next slide, I'm gonna count five Bs. One, two, three, four, five. That's five Bs. All right, I'm gonna count two Bs. One, two. And my last slide, I'm gonna count four beads. That's one, two, three, four. Again, you can put your name up here on your slide and then you can share it with me. Again, if you need to, you can pause this video right here and then you can come back to this video when you're ready. Let's look at the next set. We go back here and now we are at the total change due. Now this is a hard one. So if you guys need to take a break, that's fine. Make sure you have a calculator ready to go because you are going to need a calculator to do these slides. I'm using a calculator on my phone. You can use a calculator on your iPad, but we've got three really hard questions coming up. So for the first one, you are getting red roses, sunflowers, and lilies. The red rose costs $25, the sunflowers cost $13, and the lilies cost $16. You're gonna enter all those numbers into your calculator. So I'm gonna do 25 plus 13 plus 16 equals 54. You're gonna put 54 into this box right here because that's the customer's total. Now you wanna know how much change you're gonna get, get back. They pay you with a $100 bill. So I've gotta do 100 minus 54. So 100 minus 54 and I get $46 coming back to me. And I can actually type in $46 here as well. Get to the end of my equal sign. Now I'm gonna find $46 and I'm gonna click and drag. So I got 20, 40, 45, 46. So this is hard, this has three parts and we're gonna do it a couple more times. So now we're getting tulips, that's $22. We're getting sunflowers, two of them, that's 13 and $13. And we're getting lilies and that's $16. So I'm gonna clear out my calculator and add it all up. 22 plus 13 plus 13 plus 16. Again, if I'm going too fast, pause it, equals 64. 
I'm going to come here where it says customer's total, and I'm going to type in 64. Now, this customer is paying me with, an 80, with $80. So I'm going to say 80 minus 64 equals, and I get 16. How do you get to $16? Well, if I take a 10, a 5, and a 1, I have $16. I'm going to do one more problem with you guys. Now I'm getting two white rose bouquets. That's 17 and 17, a tulip that is 22, and sunflowers, and that is 13. I'm going to use my calculator again and do some adding. 17 plus 17 plus 22 plus 13 equals, I got a total of 69. So in my box, I'm going to put 69. Now, my customer paid me with a $100 bill again, so now I've got to do some subtracting. I've got to do 100 minus 69. 100 minus 69 equals 31. All right, so now i got to get to $31. That's 20, 30, and 1. Notice the bills I used. All right, guys, if you need to, you can slow this video down, pause in between, and take it while you're doing the activities yourself. All right, guys, I'll see you on Friday. Until Friday.